All right, really windy. Yeah, this ought to work really badly. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do it anyway. Um, try to avoid the noise, but it's really not going to work. So anyway, uh, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck? Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community and uh, Debate Fun. So anyway, last night was another semi-productive night. I mean, it moved right along. Mostly dominated by sub-DNA guy and nihilism. There's another guy who was in there and made some commentary on the subject. And then Piero later regurgitated the subject <laughs> yeah, all over the floor. And we had to do it all over again. And then sub-DNA, as usual, got a little bit, uh, um, whatever, colored. <laughs> he got colored. Yeah, he got colored. Uh, you know, some sort of colored beverage. Anyway, and, uh, you know, became a snarky asshole. But anyway, it was all right. Um, generally speaking. Mostly. Um, so, yeah, it was basically all this Nietzsche crap. And, uh, you know, I'm still making the argument. I'm totally unimpressed. Um, these people will basically concede that, yeah, Nietzsche was basically an asshole. And, uh, yeah, some of his critiques were just plainly ignorant. And, uh, and they, but they still see some overall value in his, the perspective he's offering. And I'm, I'm just like, well, what's, what's valuable about it? It basically takes the chains of reason, <laughs> you know, elegance off of the human animal. Um, he's just, a uh, a glory horror of a kind, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, the world just doesn't need things, people arguing for less empathy, less, um, you know, less of a, 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 a good fight, and just, you know, people glorifying, um, just ignoring how broken everything is, and, uh, you know, finding your, your gratification within that broken mechanism. Uh, we need martyrs. We need people willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. As long as those kind of people are going to be called villains, um, uh, you know, we're we're fail as a society, in my opinion. Um, you know, shit. You, somebody has to sacrifice. I guess is the point. Uh, you know, if you say that, uh, you know, the thing is degraded and it's you know decomposed and it's it's aged. Somebody's got to go out and paint it and fix it and do some work on it. Somebody's got to. Somebody's got to do something. And if everybody's um, saying it's somebody else's problem, or passing it off to the future all the time, well, they'll fix it. Well, they'll fix it. Well, they'll fix it. Uh, it's just such bullshit. I mean, that's what's gotten us into this mess. Is is a bunch of Nietzsche-like thinking. Uh, you know shiny city on a hill kind of crap um, with no work you know let's have our shiny city but let's not uh, earn it and uh, that's all kind of bullshit uh, anyway I, you know it's very hard to to put into simple words um, but there's a lot of Ayn Rand in Nietzsche and both of them have a lot of pathetic surrender to um, nature. Um, so they kill God, but they resurrect God in the form of, um, you know, some notion of achieving maximum fitness. <laughs> you know, it, it's just bullshit. Uh, I'm all for people um, getting the most out of their psychology, um, creating the best human being, the best they can be kind of thing, but not in the context of the best you can be is a homicidal murderer <laughs> you know that's uh, being a really great sniper well that's kind of bullshit so anyway very proficient hey, so anyway it's just cold the weather's just been not uh, you know look it's a hell of a lot better in winter so I'm not going to complain at all because I'm just very glad it's not winter but you know this is co it's cold out here I mean it's like 60 something. It's not, it's not good enough um, for May. And certainly it ain't going to be good enough for swimming because it's going to freeze my nuts off for sure. Anyway, um, 
<laughs> Unfortunately, I have to do a little work first, and that'll, you know, uh, create the need for some relief. So anyway, um, happenings. Okay, so the big happening is the derived energy thing. Um, it is a little bit, you know, of a weird circumstance. I really don't want to talk about it, you know, because there is a lot of delicacy at this particular moment, okay, pre-trial. So there's a lot you can read in to, uh, you know, Kirk's uh, uh, very eloquent statement. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess I'd say to people, just realize that he did clearly say he spent the first two months in a cage. Uh, and uh, so take that in the context of uh, the table tennis and the other nonsense of late. So whatever, well, I'm just saying there is a, probably more to this story and we got to realize that he's communicating probably through sensors and he's talking not just to me but to other people and uh, but I think the general message is let's all be nice to each other and everything will be okay <laughs> and hopefully that's the way it'll turn out. He'll get a decent, uh, you know, fair reasonable uh, sentence and we can be done with this uh, hostility <laughs> you know kind of thing or something like that but anyway I'm not gonna so it's, it's an open uh, circumstance okay uh, for right now uh, yeah it's you know just uh, hold back uh, say thank you Indonesia <laughs> Indonesia it does sound like a disease uh, thank you for uh, not torturing him and hopefully you'll do the right thing and we'll leave it at that for right now so anyway that done with uh, other news <laughs> yeah, there really isn't much so you got two kind of little conversations going on gray text explaining evolution which is hilarious and uh, and the Kantavad and um, Piero doing their Nietzsche beyond good and evil thing. And then Akantavad's doing it in this preposterous manner where, you know, he is such a propagandist. Um, and, you know, he wonders why people think he's evil. Yeah, you know, but you don't play fair, buddy. That's why you're evil. Um, you know, you're a cheater. Uh, you know, because he can tell us what reality is. He can tell us what the truth is about truth. Uh, and make statements that he clearly states as if they are facts of reality and then as soon as you contend those facts with another set of facts about reality he'll just throw the for you at you and just <laughs> and just say yeah that's just your opinion uh, and he won't deal with evidence so there really is no way to have a conversation he won't accept a single premise until that, unless that premise is to his advantage, and uh, so there's, there's there's no real way to you know converse with him. All you can do is critique um, his cheat. So, and I sort of failed at that. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be running. So anyway, maybe I'll get more, add more. Maybe I won't. See how the wind, what the wind does on the way home. Blah blah blah. How cold I am. Blah blah. blah. Blah blah blah. So anyway, enough. Uh, Till later or not.